Hello, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. Tucker Carlson recently had a really good episode. He had on Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort, in case you are not aware, is the original Wolf of Wall Street. So he's the man that that entire movie was based off of. Yes, it was based off of a true story, and I believe he spent 22 months away. So he did pay for his crimes, and he did the time. And uh, he has been doing podcasts, interviews. He's a really interesting guy. He wrote a book while he was put away. And him and Tucker got on the subject of insider trading. And I thought it was a really interesting little segment. So I'm going to play just a few seconds of it for you. Everything is alleged, by the way. We have no idea. We have no proof or anything. It's all just alleged. YouTube. <laughs> all right, here's the clip. It appears that members of Congress consistently beat the S&P 500 in their personal investment. Nancy Pelosi. And a lot of others. Right. And Pelosi especially. But she's the famous one. Yeah. yeah. So how does that, is Nancy Pelosi, do you think, a stock picking genius? No, she, she has to be operating on information that's non-public. Or is it not, Wouldn't that say, make her a criminal? Yeah, but, you know, look at Joe Biden right now. I mean, <laughs> look what's going on right now. Like, yeah. this, listen. Do you I think was, he's a good stock picker? Joe Biden, no, I think he's great at laundering money, though. I yeah, mean, honestly, apparently. What, from what I've seen right now, I don't get it. Like, if, just imagine if it was Trump who was president. Yeah. What, every single day in the front page of the New York Times, the Washington Post, and every other publication would be like 40,000. I personally think that while you are a sitting member of Congress or members of Congress, I think that you shouldn't be allowed to trade to trade anything because you are privy to information that the rest of the general public is not privy to. And again, obviously all of this is alleged, but it doesn't look so good sometimes, especially when I believe the highest government salary is $400,000 a year. That's what the president makes. Uh, so an average member is probably making somewhere between 100,000, maybe 200,000 a year, which is still a really good salary, but definitely will not give you a net worth of millions of dollars. And you'll have these career politicians who you see what their salary is per year, and then all of a sudden they're multimillionaires with huge real estate portfolios, and you're like, okay, what is happening here? And just to show you some of the legislation that has been introduced and is still in the introduction stage. So Senator uh, Ossoff, I think that's how you say, Kelly Ossoff introduced a bill to ban stock trading by members of Congress. And it says here, 86% of Americans support banning stock trading by members of Congress. So this is something that the general public overwhelmingly supports. And that's across every single political aisle, whether you're independent, Republican, or Democrat, that's what I was trying to think of. Okay, and within this bill, so this was introduced back in September, uh, he says, or she, he, she, I should have looked at that before I made this video. Person, they, they, them, that's the pronouns. Members of Congress should not be playing the stock market while we make federal policy and have extraordinary access to confidential information. Stock trading by members of Congress massively erodes public confidence in Congress with a serious appearance, appearance of impropriety, which is why we should ban stock trading by members of Congress altogether. And uh, a few years ago, Josh Howley also introduced legislation to ban stock trader stock stock trading by members of Congress. <laughs> and this article came out in the New York Times back in September, uh, and it says 97 members of Congress reported trades in companies influenced by their committees. So it says at least 97 current members of Congress bought or sold stock, bonds, or other financial assets that intersected with their congressional work or reported similar transactions by their spouse or a child. So you see, people do have reasons to be suspicious, to be concerned, and it does erode public confidence in members of Congress when there, it appears, allegedly, that they are benefiting from this information that they are privy to that other people are not. So I would fully support this. And I feel like every single time 
it gets close to something maybe passing, something comes along and blocks it, or it just sits there collecting dust on a desk. Anyway, those are my thoughts. That's how I feel. Oh, it was Senator Ossoff and Mark Kelly, Democrats from Arizona, who introduced this legislation. I had that wrong the whole time. I apologize about that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you later and good night. <laughs>